ladies and gentlemen, resellers across all platforms, Pocket Change Podcast 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 no. proudly presents episode 15 of the Pocket Change Podcast, the number one reselling podcast in the world. That was awful. It's Joe Philly Picker, Dan and the Man, and I'm Jimmy Old School Flips. I, I didn't. I did not nail it, but I, it was not terrible. I said you, touch, you kept on touching your microphone. You kept on making noise. <laughs> I yeah. said plot, plot class, which is everybody knows a plot class is like a podcast with a plot in it, which I don't even know what that means. A plot? What is a plot? A mean? plot? A plot? Like, so, oh, it's when you clap at a podcast. Okay. No, that's a plot. A plot. Not a plot. No a plot. <laughs> I don't know. Joe, what would what what do you call a podcast? What are we even doing? Yeah. I don't even know. No, no, let's not even start there. I have no idea. Don't even, let's not even go there. No, how's, okay. how's, how was your guys' week of reselling? I was just saying how this is a boring reselling day for me. Why is it boring? It's just boring. Like, So, like, we have two cars, and, and they're both gone from the house, so I'm kind of stuck here. And yeah. I'm just like... Oh, that's, that's, like, the life. That's why I want to be a reseller, so I just be stuck at home. Staring at <laughs> these brick walls, talking to brick walls, watching trash to cash. Super boring. Uh, I I have like twenty minutes left of that of of the podcast. I was listening. I used to save that podcast to listen to on Wednesday, because before we start, because we're so we're filming recording on Tuesday. I right. used to this used to be a big sourcing day for me. I used to go sourcing every Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. And so now uh, you have to hang out with us. I'm sorry, Dan. I apologize. No, it's, it's, I didn't know that doing a, starting a podcast, it was going to be like strict mandated times to. <laughs> and I take the, I actually take that back because it's cool to hang out with Joe. Just hanging out with me has to suck. So I didn't mean us. I didn't I didn't mean to speak for us, Joe. I'm sorry that you have to hang out with me, man. Joe, Joe's cool. Like, Joe's chill. Look at him. Look at him over there just chilling right now. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, stop. Oh, stop, guys. <laughs> so, so how was your guys's like boring? It's kind of that boring season that's after the holidays. It's we've talked about this a lot. It's just kind of boring for me. I'm, one, I, I'm ready for yard sales. Well, so last week when we talked, we recorded, we recorded early or a day early on Monday because I went sourcing on Tuesday finally for the first time. And, and they have a sale, I got, right? Huh? They had yeah. a big sale. Or yeah, something? Goodwill had a forty percent off sale, so I went and uh, I only made it to two sales because it was ice. It was rain and ice. It was sleet, and it was, yeah. so I, I was uncomfortable driving around. So I, I made it to two stores. And I bought like sixty items or something. So I was I was happy the rest of the week. I was listing. I started selling stuff like crazy. It was it was nice. It's, that always feels good. Like yeah. that, I, I'm happy, man. Like at least you have some exciting things going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I went out yeah. sourcing. I was praying that you guys. I was praying you guys didn't want to uh, record yesterday on Monday because I really wanted to get back out and do sourcing. I listed just about everything from last week. I had it all listed. So I wanted to get back out there, and I went to Salvation Army yesterday, and I bought. How was that? Uh, it was pretty good. I, I mean, I bought thirty items, and I don't. I just like. I didn't find anything like amazing. Thirty I, I, I bought, items. Yeah, I bought thirty. They items might yesterday. be priced pretty good over there, then, right? So they they oh, I like going to Salvation Army. Do you have Do you have one near you? Um, yeah, because yeah. I was gonna say our Salvo has high prices. So just real quick, you have to hope they miss. Like you have to hope yeah. it's something with a lot of money and they missed on it because the price is going to be high no matter what. Yeah. So, um, Salvation Army, like Goodwill, I was kind of debating it cause I really wanted to go to the bins yesterday, but yeah. like, I just didn't really feel like digging through. Um, so I was like, let me go Salvation Army cause they always have half off sale on one color, a tag right. and then 25% off another color tag. So when I go in there, I try to I try to be I try to be good. I try to find stuff that's priced pretty good because th- their prices have gone up too. Just like Goodwills, they've gone yeah. up. Not as crazy though. Like jeans, the most I sell jeans for uh, if like, it's like brand new, they might be twelve or fourteen ninety nine, but like nine ninety nine. Uh, but then when you, you you find a couple gems in there that are uh, you, you they're they're ha- they were half off. So then I started buying. I start fi- finding some of that, and then I'll find shoes. Their shoes are always been expensive. The shoes there have always been expensive, um, yeah. but when you you find a pair, of sh- decent pair of shoes that are, you know, there's they, they might be ten bucks, but most of the shoes I find there are going to be selling for thirty bucks, and I'm I'm happy with that. So I ended up finding enough stuff that was on sale that my average buy cost was still a little high. Was uh six six seventy five yesterday, 
from for my stuff but i bought like oh, five man. pairs of shoes um and i got a couple couple nothing great like a couple nice sweaters and stuff like that nothing great nothing amazing yeah joe how, how you been joe's joe's like talking about what are you talking about boring my life is not not boring he's got kids nah. to run around and stuff yeah no i um i had a i think i'm all um 100 back on the uh promotion bandwagon after oh, we yeah. talked about that a couple weeks ago or whatever with yeah. I, I started promoting and it's it's been really good for me the last uh you know few uh since uh friday i i probably sold like maybe like 18 items and that's pretty or well yeah. over the weekend including yeah, yesterday good. 18 items i haven't had an 18 item sale in you know in a long time and it seems like it was not only um uh I started sell. I sold like a couple like high higher dollar items, which was really good for me. So, what are you promoting at? I did the uh, the bulk, uh, the one with the you put two in there, three percent to nine point nine percent. Oh, so, so you, but you everything sl- everything seems to sell really like at at a uh, at um nine point the highest rate, you know, at ten percent, yeah. you know, nine point nine percent or whatever it is. So, I I don't think. It's pretty much been. Let me check. I'll check what my average, because you could do it right by the last, like uh, the last. I'm done, uh, I'm done looking at numbers. My no, I just, I look at my, I look at my bank account now. I'm done trying to figure out what, uh, which one is better and which one. I just, more I time. just paid. I just uh, paid myself for February and uh, or for the first part of February. So I, like, I hate, I hate taking money out, and then I see my, oh, like, oh. <laughs> but I feel it was good to like I so I I, I pay I started I paid my bills for February, yeah. And uh, I'm like ah, oh. so now I got I got a couple weeks to hopefully hopefully fill it back up. <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah. I'm you know I'm you know I'm starting to worry a little bit about what the well, like I said I want I want garage sale season to come back but you know that's when the spending hits full scale like I'm spending hundreds every weekend do you have a budget do you have a budget when you go i don't i don't Mm -hmm. and so i want to you know right now i'm saving up to make sure when when that season hits i don't have to have a budget again because i mean there's weekends i've spent three four hundred dollars in a weekend when i'm finding good stuff yeah and that that adds up man by the by the end of the summer you've spent yeah and so you go a full month of spending three four hundred dollars a weekend you you can do the math on that i can't do the math because i suck at math but it's a, it's the spending can get crazy in the summer, and I don't I don't want to have a budget. I want to be able to, you know, if I see something I want to, that I know will sell, I want to be able to buy it. That's yeah. I'm always scared about that, as I always want to have enough money to buy to buy whatever and not place like yeah. I, I I started doing that yesterday. So because so I paid myself, so I knew what I knew how much I had in my account. That was one reason I was leaning towards going to the bins because I knew if I go to Salvation Army, if I if I, I don't, I only go there maybe twice a month, maybe once a month, depends, yeah, I mean, like just on how I'm feeling. But so when I go there, I usually will buy, I, I find a lot of stuff. Like I find stuff, nothing again, I like can't nothing amazing. Math, my, my smartphone can do bath, math for me. You said 30 items times six dollars. I mean, you spent almost 200 bucks, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, what was it? It was, let me make sure I did my, <laughs> I spent $218. Okay. Over 200. Yeah. And uh, I just, oh, did okay. Quick- so. So my uh, no, no, that's what. So if you do that with, the, I spent two hundred eighteen dollars on my thirty items. It comes out to like seven dollars and twenty six cents. My shoes, I gave a buy cost of ten dollars. Gotcha. Because I'm paying, I'm paying up more, and I have like right. a T-shirt that I bought for half off. Like it, it was a, it was a, like a Robert Graham just a T-shirt. Like a, if you, if you, you know Robert Graham, like the, yeah, um, I've heard of it. It's they, they have like button up shirts. They have like right. kind of a. What wa- wa- wacky sleeve yeah, yeah, on it usually, yeah. and I, I found a T-shirt, and it was just a plain T-shirt, and it was it was four ninety nine, and it was the white tag, which was half off, so it's like two fifty. Like it, it's not really yeah. worth a ton, but like I don't know, it's hard to leave something like that behind. It, like in my head, it it makes sense to buy it because it'll it should like the name should sell it. Like I, I don't know who's like if someone's looking, they're gonna buy it. And yeah. it brings my average bike cost down. So yeah, I guess I should say that too. I did. And oh, I bought a polo, uh, Nike polo, and it was half off too. And I bought it because it was it was four ninety nine and it was white tag. It was half off. And I bought it for either 
if I eventually, I'm still 95%, 96% sure I'm quitting, whatnot. <laughs> but I, I'm gonna, if I, if I'm gonna find a couple other the same size and bundle them together for a lot. So it seemed I was gonna leave it, and then I was like, ah, like I mean, like I can make a lot of this if I instead of just listing this on its own. So anyway, oh, wow. Yeah, I I just checked my uh, promoters. It's nine point two two percent. So so high. That's the average. So you're. Yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, when I do my ceilinged one, most of my sales go to that. The ceiling. It's most of them hit that ceiling that yeah. I set it at. So, so after like a week or two, or if even like the next for a month, it's go down to like cap it at like nine point, like nine point one, and then slowly right. come down. Yeah, like and you said, see, I, how, I, see what it works. How it I works. I think if I, if I do go, you know, you know, start to go down, it's going to be gradual. I think it really affected my sales when I just cut it. I don't think you can. I, I mean, I don't know. Just in my head, I I don't think you can go just quit cold turkey and not have it. I I yeah. cut mine in half like over a year ago. Mm -hmm. I talked about it. I think before I started, I was at ten percent, and I switched to five percent, and I just I just powered through it for. Yeah. What, I don't five, how five percent, five percent across the board, right? Yeah. I just do, yeah. I just do flat. Yeah. Now I'm at four percent. I just do okay. flat four percent. Okay. I got. It's just a matter of the risk taken for me. I, it would be a huge risk for me to, you know, to if I lost what I'm making now, it would be it would be bad news for me. So I, I can't. Yeah, it's like I, I have to wait till I can, you know, till I can afford to take that risk. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, but like I said, I think. I made out better with running the promotions that I did with right. running actual an actual sale or anything. Did you go like back? That. Oh, as you say, so you didn't do you're not doing a sale too. No. Just just, promotion. just promoting. Mm -hmm. Uh so I finally went down and, you know, fixed all my uh my pricing and things like that. Because there were some oh, no. times I would, you know, uh inflate my prices by like like five percent and then run a twenty percent off. So it looked better when you're getting twenty percent off, but it really was. Oh yeah, it was you know. yeah. I used to th it, try to. Do, it's too much. But then I started getting confused uh, on what I was doing and all that. So I actually went back and, you know, sat down and figured out the last time I did a promotion or the last time I ran a sale, what I did with it and what I did right, right. before that. So it turned out that I ended up uh, increasing my prices like five percent and then running a twenty percent off sale. So I went back and I decreased all my prices across yeah. the board five percent and then ran my ran my um uh, promoted listings so and i did a couple of them over the last week you know run them for three days and then you know start it up again on the third day run it for two days i just i don't know and then my sales have have shown it this week so hopefully it continues that way and i think i came to the conclusion like we talked about last week to sell you know you know sell a thousand dollars in items and pay a hundred dollars extra in fees is kind of worth it you know, this makes me want to ask Dan a question because I know the market that like the, the market that he sells in, because I've noticed it in my market, like sale prices in general are just down like stuff that, you know, when I'm running comping and looking up pricing and solds, like everything, the price is just down quite a bit. And I was curious, like in the, you know, I call it, I don't, for lack of better terms, the bread and butter clothing category. Have you noticed our prices down, Dan? Uh, just like in general, like stuff isn't is the pricing the price on stuff is down. I mean, I guess a little bit. I don't know, like a pair. Of, I mean, it just might just be what people are looking for. Uh, right. I noticed like Lucky Brand jeans is something that I used to used to sell. Used to price them at like twenty five, twenty nine, ninety nine, or some something like that. And yep. you know, now they seem to it's like. I might be selling them for like twenty or nineteen ninety nine, like twenty bucks. Um, I, I honestly haven't really. I saw, noticed I saw that with um, the Levi's five sixty. I haven't found the pair in a long time. Uh, you know what? I found in the fall. I found two pairs, and I haven't found those in forever. When I first got into reselling, those are the five sixty were just instently. It, there was always one guy that bought them for me on Poshmark. Yeah, he yeah always I just think it was a guy in, De in Denver right. or something, right? I would, I, yeah, I, I sold them for. I listed him for 35. He'd offer me 30. I'd take it and, or whatever, you know, like whatever it was like, and I would just take it. And then he just started, stopped buying it. And then I wasn't really finding them. And yeah, I had a pair. I've had two pairs that, this year I, and I sold one. Oh, okay. The other pair is not, but in the inside back in the, back in the nineties or whatever, like 
they used to, if you went to an outlet store or I, they probably still do it now it's like the they'll you can find um i don't know if you get it on newer clothes now but back they used to put if it was irregular if something happened at the when they cut it or manufactured it, it it would say it would be irregular like i found like a pair of wranglers that had irregular on the tag and then this pair of levi's 560s right on the inside thigh is just a big stamp right on the pocket says irregular <laughs> and i'm like oh my god <laughs> so like they've just been in my store forever and it might it's it just depends on the, something happened when they're inspecting them that is something was off on it and i don't know what it is they look like fine pair of jeans but like they say that, and I don't know. So you wants. have no idea what the regularity is. Like you just know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. No, I, I, I did. I made that mistake this weekend. I, I found, like I said, I haven't found five sixties in a long time, and Dan was one of those uh, guys that always told me, "If you see five sixty, pick it up." And I, oh, it. So, I, I learned it from pick and roll Steve. Pick and roll Steve, right? Yeah. Right, and then yeah. uh, roll Steve, and. Uh, I ended up finding like three pair and I'm like, I remember getting like, like Dan said, 35, $40, a, you know, piece for them. And yep. I bought three pairs of them. Two of them are fine. And when I get them, they're all the same size. So I figured they were all the same size. Everything's fine. I get them home. The third pair must've been hemmed, but it must, it must've been hemmed by like four inches. It's like, they were size like, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> just yeah. take out the IR. <laughs> regular. If, if you're listening on your favorite uh, podcast platform, you, you can't see I'm holding up a picture. Uh, you're if there, you're you can... listening on your... Hey, did you hear they got... I got an email so they're getting rid of Google Podcasts. I, I seen something about that a while back. After, like, when I finally... When I figured out how to get us on Google Podcasts. I still figured a... out how to switch the... the which to switch the the artwork on there but like so I, there's I a video out there that, the name of the podcast we could change the artwork then so you're gonna know it's not longer gonna be a hovercraft that you or whatever you have no it's a it's a hot air balloon it's a hot air balloon so there's a video out there that i watched a while back that's kind of what got me on my podcast kick is that there was uh some you google got rid of something a while like google music and they combine it with youtube or whatever yeah and so now it's all one and they and so that means youtube is now pushing the music thing right and then they said next up is podcasts and that google will eliminate their podcast and and since they're you, you know whatever them and youtube are the same entity or whatever so is that good or it, bad for for this it's podcast? good for us it's good for the youtube side of this now will it affect us that there's seventeen thousand pocket change podcasts on there and one of the people that was on the podcast that has a pocket change podcast was literally out shaking hands and kissing babies at a at a reseller event. And for mayor, and not one of us went to the event. Well, I blame you guys. Yeah, yeah it was your that. idea to name, <laughs> to name this. I think I, I think Dan might be right that Joe was the one. <laughs> Joe was pushing. Don't no, close your I, eyes, Joe. I, I suggest I don't. I don't do much background work with it or whatever i just suggested it i think that's how it was i expected dan to actually dig deep and figure I out i told you that i felt like i was being too pushy about everything and i was told my name was the crappiest possible name ever so i it just got shot down immediately <laughs> <laughs> i'm just playing so I, i'm gonna tell her my name was gonna be the buy it all remember that buy it all podcast and I was, you know, why do you did I ever tell you guys why I want to do buy it all podcast? Yeah, and that's why we didn't want to do it. Well, I didn't want to do it. It's because you said you wanted to go to a garage sale and buy it all. No, I wanted to do buy it all podcast. Well, that yeah, that's what happens. When but I don't go to, to garage, a garage sale and buy it all. But the reason, the real reason behind it all was because a lot of those those YouTube videos where they buy it all, they go those are the ones that like hit and go viral. Like those are the ones that get a ton of views. Uh, yeah, I remember you saying. So that, I was yeah. like. If someone oh, searches buy that. it all reseller, well, they could that? possibly find our podcast. Well, we're recording this right now. You want to change it to buy it all? <laughs> I no, no, because it's buy a it all for the pocket change. No, because I'm making my own channel called Buy It All. Buy it all. I thought reseller. you weren't allowed to make any more channels. I'm not. I'm not at all. I've been grounded for making new channels. YouTube, YouTube is like we've had enough of you. I'm surprised that you're even like your co-hosts even want you on their podcast. 
we've had enough. You're well, want is I used want in a very loose, more like obligated to have you on their show. <laughs> Well, it's nothing like episode 15 still discussing a name. I mean, I mean, I've been discussing it for a long time. I know oh, yeah, we just have to be the best pocket chains there is. Like, let them all be nickels and pennies, and we'll be the quarters and the silver dollars of the pocket change podcast. Uh, I don't know. We could be the podcast formerly known as Pocket Change. <laughs> something. We could just we just be a sign of something. Yeah, like a symbol. Yeah, like, like, a, hot, like, a hot air balloon. Like, like that. What was the one that they used to give you on on, uh, on Twitter when you first signed up? What were an it? egg? An egg? Oh, the egg. Yeah, let's just be an we egg. We could just be the hot air balloon podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the first thing. Has anybody ever been on a hot air balloon? No, no. way I'm ever going on a hot air Have you? No way. Like, there's no. nothing but a, a picnic basket holding my butt up in the air? No, thank <laughs> you. No, I don't even want to get on a plane. I wouldn't get on a hot air balloon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll pass on that too. Like, who who thought? Oh, let's take this giant balloon and let's strap a picnic basket to it and see how high up we can go with fire. With, with fire, fire. Yeah, yeah. nothing could go wrong. Nothing. Gas could go wrong. tanks and yeah, and we're just being held up by a couple pe- couple rope and a a wicker basket. <laughs> <laughs> how do we? Oh yeah. What? Oh, that's how it was. My fault that we transitioned to this. We were talking something good. What were we talking about? Because I had to pick up the audio. We started talking to get- about how. I, I brought up the, that Google's getting rid of the yeah, getting rid it, of their podcasts, and I was trying to make I was trying to be cool and tell people if you're listening to give us a give us a yeah, follow yeah, yeah. on there, and well, so there's, oh there's maybe there's they can subscribe if they're watching on YouTube. I got I got some I got some things that I'm dealing with that got me upset. Oh. I got my note right here. Where's my note? What you was got it, a yeah? note? <laughs> oh, is it notes oh, that you? Yeah, I was not upset. Time. I don't. I'm not of that. I. It's just kind of like okay, whatever eBay. I'm oh, no yeah. longer top rated. Why? But we can't have you on here. Can't hold on, on, hold here on. Now. I'm not an ambassador. Oh, top, how about the top rated podcast? Top rated podcast. There's hey, got to be a million of them too. Top rated reselling podcast. Above average. Above average. <laughs> Why did you? How did you lose that? <laughs> so no, no. Well, hold on. It, so I get this message and I'm scared. I'm like my heart skipped a beat. I was like. I hit the table. I was mad. I was like, what the heck? I lost top rated. Like to me, like you say, so I was like, then I go into it. I lost top rated on global, on the global international program. So apparently you, they're, they're two separate things. I'm still top rated on us, the U S version, the eBay U S version, but on the global one, I guess, cause I don't sell a lot. And I, I've had three returns out of like, 70 something sales and so i lost top oh, rated for that global program you had global shipping returns global well, they don't do returns anymore right but uh, someone so people were requesting return and i'm like well ebay you're saying like i want to know how that is for the person that requested the return so like let, so for those of you who don't know if you use ebay's international program and sell it on there there's no longer returns for me, the seller. I don't get a return. I don't have to refund a return. But on the other end, the buyer can still request a return. And then eBay handles it from there. So my question is, is eBay making them return that item to eBay? Is eBay just letting them keep it and giving them their money back? Like, how are how is that, that going? That sounds like so, a question you need to have with your concierge. I need to call my concierge. His right. Wife? Concierge. My concierge. Oh, concierge. Okay. What do you think I said? You know, I don't know. If I had to guess, I guess they're just not making them return it, but they're monitoring how often people do it. Kind of like if you do returns at Walmart with no receipt, they check your ID, and if you do yeah. so many, they shut you down. So yeah. maybe that's what eBay is doing. Like, hey, you you've requested too many returns in this time frame. No more. But that still doesn't stop someone from buying like a five hundred dollar item internationally, and then requesting a return, and that's the only one, the only <laughs> item they ever do that to. So, so I, you, you know, I don't know, I don't know if that's how it works, but I, that's a huge question I have for eBay. So you had no idea that any of these returns were taking place, right? Is there is no. there a way to is there a way to find out? I think I might get. So what when they when that happens, it like 
it, it sends you a message, but it says we'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about anything. Every time that happens, yeah. and I, th- you know, and I don't, you know, but so I don't really keep track that close of them because I, it's nothing I have to do. I, there's nothing for me to do except for lose top rated. Apparently, I'd have oh, to look geez. at the numbers exactly. So what is that? Like, miss- what do you lose out on? I don't, I don't know what that means. Top I'm, rated. Gonna, I'm just not at, top rated uh, in the rest of the world. I'm only. Are top you gonna call the concierge? Should I? You think I should call them and ask them what does this mean? Yeah, call right now. Let's talk to him. Jimmy, Jimmy <laughs> I, I'm looking at you. Go ahead, call her. Go ahead, call her. <laughs> Hello. Did we ever no, name his no. concierge Skip? I think that's what we named. No, it. so but hold on. The no, concierge is not a podcast before we name us uh, the concierge. Oh, we could be the concierge <laughs> podcast. There, according to YouTube and Spotify, there is nothing called top rated podcast. Ooh, we're changing it right now. <laughs> No, uh, concierge isn't. Uh, it sounds like no, Joe, Joe doesn't like the name. Joe doesn't like no, that. No, no. You, you said that there was no pocket change either, and there's 17. Million. I told yeah. you a thousand times there's a hundred of them. I didn't know there was another reseller. Po- they probably how many there, videos? I didn't they see have? a reseller one, but there oh, was, I told just you a, there was a thousand. Why were they at? Things. Why were they at trash to cash if they're not resellers? They are resellers, they are, but they, they didn't show. Uh, the only place I find them is I on Spotify, them and I didn't have Spotify at the time. I had. I have Apple and I had like YouTube is what I searched. Oh, I didn't so they're download not on Spotify. YouTube. So as far as that YouTube focusing on podcasts, we're we're the number one pocket change on YouTube then, right? Yeah, we beat. There was another one that was on there that they hadn't uploaded oh, in a long time. That reminds me though. Did you guys see my message? I mean, you guys don't ever. Resp- they don't like me. Guys. I don't respond to my messages. What message? I sent a message. So I was trying to send to one of my friends a link to our YouTube channel. You said disregard. You, know, you said ignore. You said disregard. Yeah, that's what I, th- I thought you sent us a. Yeah. You sent us a you, link. You and you're like, don't state. pay attention. I'm sending it. I'm sending this. Like I'm, I'm ignore this. Oh, I meant that was I probably that was so that was supposed to be to my friend that I was trying to send the link when I told him disregard it because it's not the right link. You sent it to us. So I actually, my bad, my bad. Then so you've been mad at us the entire week. You guys really like me. (laughs) They like me. They so I must have got my message. You've been mad at us all week. Yeah, because no, I've been mad. I'm always mad at you guys. Let's let's be no. I've been mad at you all week because you guys ignored me. I know. You told us to ignore you. I know. Now I'm about to go. So. What this is what happened. So here's the story. I was trying to send a link to our channel to a friend of mine, and when I sent it, it came back as some other podcast. So uh, I, I must have sent it. Change. I sent it to you guys right away, and then I must have thought I was messaging him to ignore it, and I messaged you guys to ignore it. So that's my bad. That's on me. That's my bad. Yeah. So yeah. We, so if you you, you, if you, you were share te- our te- link on Instagram. It, it sends you to a different pocket change podcast. That's weird. I, uh, here we go. I think we got it. We got to switch it. We have We're to change done. the name. So if you guys go Let's to that one, I said up. ignore. If you guys still have access to it, if you haven't completely deleted everything I send you, if you click on that link, it sends you to some other pocket change podcast. Probably the real one. I, I, we got problems. I just, I just clicked on it and it sent it, it, the picture of us come up. We what? have to change. We have to. Change Are you the going name. on text or on Instagram? Text. It doesn't. We're Inst- the the Instagram name. one doesn't read it right. So when I sent it on Instagram, that's the so on text it works. That's what's weird, right? On text it works. On Instagram, it does not. We have problems, man. There's I was trying to find things. I was trying I was gonna come. I was because I was gonna tell you guys we have to change the name. And I was gonna try to come with some ideas, but uh I think with the when we asked for ideas, people left them in the comments of of one of the episodes when they're on my channel and I took all yeah. those videos down off of my channel and I can't really see, us, really I can't see the, com- I can't see the comment section because I, I privated the videos. You, you privated the privated. Yeah. Right, so what, I can't what do you ask? Oh, should are, are we, we start a new, should we start a new campaign like we for a new uh, campaign for a new name? Is that what we really want to do? I mean, I don't care. I, I don't love pocket change. I don't hate pocket change. Well, I just I feel bad you. that we stole someone's name. I, I do. Feel, I feel bad. I think, but we, like, we all know, listeners, it was it was quite the ordeal trying to find a name because every name we came up with was taken, right? Like, we had a name. We had a name in like three seconds, and then yeah, we had a name that was good, and then Dan decided <laughs> it was political. 
No, you decided it was political. I'm the one that was. And now we're we're, we're now we're in a political battle with pocket change. <laughs> yeah, now we're we're being sued. According to Philly Flipper, we're being sued by Pocket Change Podcast. And he for said all the they, money that we have. I asked if the they money. had a YouTube channel. He said yes. I cannot find it. So I wish they would have commented or something. They said it's talk some smack to us or something. I, speaking of can't finding and not subscribing and stuff like our views are doing really well on YouTube, but nobody's subscribing. Like we've been stuck. We actually lost a subscriber yesterday the other day. It was well, yeah, probably a real getting, guy. I'm on I unsubscribing on protest to change the name. I oh, because you're mad that we stole someone else's name. I, I mean, I don't, I'm not mad. I just feel kind of bad. <laughs> so you, like, you, you don't want to be associated with this name. I should say. With the name. Yeah, we don't even have a logo because we just never... Hey, our logo is awesome, right? Especially the left side of it. It's really... That's a good-looking logo on the left side. <laughs> oh, man. This, uh, this is going downhill. So now, we don't have a name. Yeah, well, I mean... Jimmy, I, just, Jimmy lost top rated global I lost top-rated global. I... <laughs> yeah, but I don't even know what that means, that you lost top-rated global. I... It, I don't know what it means. I thought you were gonna have some. Me. I thought you were gonna have some real tea for us here. Is that? Is Sorry, that what it is? I mean, I, I did. I, I started it off sounding good. Like you guys were gonna fire oh, me. I took it down. Just, it anymore? It's over with. Pocket change is over with. <laughs> Pocket change. I, took I, I do that. He took the. Huh? Little, he's got the power. Huh? He's got the branding power. Well, you should so put, put it up until we find something. We're that, now take that down. the okay. Jimmy Iron Man podcast. Oh. <laughs> 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 <We're, laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I don't know. We could be. I told you I wanted to be the Dan in Demand. Look, we could just be the Dan in Demand podcast right there. Oh, I'm no. stopping. I'm stopping. No. I'll stop. I'll stop playing with the controls. No, man. we can't. We can't do that. That would be. That would be. That's not. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know totally how it affects me not being top rated globally. Like, are they going to start making me accept returns now? If that's a that's a problem for me, if they are. Yeah, I need, I, you're right. I need to call. I, I gotta. I need, see, I, I need to request look? a callback from my concierge. Yeah, I don't. I didn't even know it was a thing. So I now found out you can lose top rated to the rest of the world. Because I, I mean, I, I should. I, oh, if I had the message, I'd bring it up. But 100, I got. Because like Dan said, I was pissed. I was like, I lost top rated. Hell, I didn't even know I was close to losing it. And then I went uh, went into the message like. Only on international global stuff did I lose top rated. That was Dan's only requirement is everybody had to be top rated and top rated. He needed our credit card numbers for some reason <laughs> with the with the passcode on the back. Our, our mom's maiden name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, list for, for social. Hey, don't pick. Yeah, this is not pick. Weird. This is not pick on me day. He he has a file. He keeps it. Actually... <laughs> oh, so oh, I, you, you said international. This is a good segue into that. Oh, good segues. I love good. Well, not, not 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 really. But I was I was listening to Trash to Cash, and this is I was waiting to see. I didn't want to break this news on there because because this uh -oh. is like breaking news. It, it was it was Kev, it's Kevin's thing. Is uh -huh. Bonanza? Like, do you sell yeah. Bonanza? You sell? Bonanza? He sells like three things a year on Bonanza. But, yeah. Do you sell on Bonanza? No, I don't. I know Joe does, I, right? I, I have a booth, but something's wrong with it. You have a booth. Yeah, yeah I have a booth. That's what they too. call. That's what you know, that's what us bonanza guys bonanza call. Bonanza booth? Yeah, it's called yeah. a booth. It's a booth. What? So it's like, not a closet. It's a, closet. A it's a booth. But hmm. I got an email yesterday. So a, a few weeks ago, I or I might have heard it from that. I, I don't think it was an email. I might have heard it from Trash Cash. They got new owners or something. But I got this email yesterday that they're gonna have international shipping on there. You ship internationally. Are we happy about that? On Bonanza. Hey, more people to find your stuff. Like, what would you? So you're an ambassador on Poshmark. What would Bonanza call it? Like a hot, like because that's like to me, Bonanza feels really old. Like it's. An I'll tell old. you, I have, a, I have a love hate with Bonanza. Bonanza is probably beneath my hatred for Macari. I like don't like Macari. Bonanza is underneath there because a while back I bought these. Uh, <laughs> Doll, I bought these doll houses or clothes or something like that. Some um, doll pieces, um, and I started an auction on on eBay for them. I started the auction at ninety nine cents, and someone bid it up to like a dollar twenty three. All of a sudden, someone bought them for a dollar twenty three on Bonanza, and I'm like, how the heck you do that? So 
Did you, you didn't list them on Bonanza. You only listed on eBay. Well, like, so, well, so you, Bonanza, don't Bonanza. you don't list on You don't list anything on Bonanza. Bonanza, you you like hook oh, it up to your oh. eBay account and it syncs it up and it just pulls all your it pulls yeah, all your items and puts it in your booth. So you just you have hundreds of thousands of millions of people that are searching Bonanza all the time That's that crazy. are over there <laughs> to buy stuff. Like, there's at least three to four people a day searching bananas. So this lady buys, she buys these doll things. Like they I, ended they're up on auction. They were on auction. I have no idea. Did you, you didn't have buy it now on there? No. So I canceled, hmm. I canceled the order. So then she comes and finds me on eBay and was like, Oh, <laughs> oh, I see, I see that you've you've <laughs> take you've canceled my order because. Because now you have them up here. Because it was it was up to, <laughs> I think it ended up selling for like forty dollars or more. Like it was, a, they were. A, it was like a nice lot of of doll accessories. I don't remember if it was doll houses, <laughs> doll accessories, or it wasn't doll houses. I, that's what I picture selling on Bonanza is like doll houses from the like antique doll house stuff. <laughs> I just I sold a pair of so so I I got so mad at Bonanza. I was so mad at Bonanza. That I, I closed the booth. I, 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 I remember this. He, 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 he was for mad. For two years. I'm going to do a drinking game. Every time Dan says bonanza, you have to take a drink. Oh, I'm not going to say it very often because it's <laughs> it's not really my thing. I, I, I didn't sell on there for two years. And I opened my bonanza booth back up. I sold a pair of Skechers shoes. Like Skechers. Like, I mean, I sold, I just sold random things. It's crazy. You'll sell oh. some random so, stuff. How, so, ben, bonanza is like a search engine then that yeah, it's, it's like pretty a, much it's a marketplace. It's a marketplace. Yeah, I think they find it through Google. Like they'll find it through Google, and uh, um, you, you get like a, I don't even know how you get the order. You end up buying the, you end up buying the shipping. You can buy it shipping through them, but it's better to do it on your own. You have to like buy it through PayPal. It's it's we it's so weird. It's yeah, really is, weird. Isn't it something now? Don't they charge you if you don't use your your their shipping? Uh, yeah, Mike, Mike the from the January house, he was he was supposed to be this the podcast was his idea. We should right. call it the we should call it the January Mike, house podcast. Save me, Mike. Save me, Mike. <laughs> it's still his name too, Dan. You're you're good at that. Uh you <laughs> sold his name, Joe. You cannot put this on me. I just gave names. You did no research. You did no are you serious? You no reason. <laughs> We're in trouble. The change name came from someone in, in Yaakov's live. I gave it to you guys, and you're like, I really like that name. Can we please call it like that? I'll oh, give you guys fourteen dollars a piece. Please like, call. Yo, that's such a random amount of money. Fourteen dollars. <laughs> fourteen is my favorite number, but Joe, that's weird. Joe, Joe so let me get Joe begged to use pocket change, yes. but then Dan didn't do the research, the necessary research. Oh, to find I out specifically remember telling him. I'm like Joe, there's like 17, but he was so scared about having us be some kind of political minded people. <laughs> like, like anyone of us is gonna click on this because our name somewhat might have resembled some kind of <laughs> political show. Like they're gonna come on here and be like, oh yeah, let's listen to see what these three guys where their stances are. <laughs> <laughs> what you, what, is, what is your what's your take? Joe, <laughs> all, I'm, all who do I'm you think is the best? Who between Donald Trump or Joe Biden is better to run the country? <laughs> Go ahead, tell us. Go, let's let's have Joe tell us. Man, you love best. you love pushing the envelope every week. You get closer and closer to saying these names, you know. And finally, you oh, said let us today. know. Let us know, Joe. <laughs> oh. We well, did. Get, we, are we, you we've done? We've done it. You now. might be we're a done. maybe you're a Bernie guy. Are you Bernie guy? Bernie, okay. <laughs> he seems like a Bernie guy. <laughs> you're not. You're not getting me roped into all this, man. Hey, I know better. I know better. Which which? I, so I live right outside Chicago. Are they? I think they're doing the the DC. You're always talking about DC, like the Democratic Convention. I'm pretty sure it's in Chicago. You keep talking about coming. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he oh, is oh, he God. is he is fishing for it no he's I, I, this is what he does <laughs> i did well because you're blaming me for this today i came up with the what the the you know what to be honest i don't even know how to i tried to the font i tried to change it i don't know how to do it i i'm i'm not good at, at computer stuff i don't know if you know if you yeah. guys notice that 
Well, clearly, I, I, have a, I, I gave I have you, a, I gave you the name to search it, and you couldn't even search and find. I told you, I told you seven. There's like seventeen thousand. Well, we still can't find their their YouTube channel though. Like I, I, I can't find it. I can't find it either. You see, the, I need to see like, what these people look like. You said they're in a video. I don't even know what they look like. No, they were, they, in, uh, Dave, they're at the trash catch the bash. They're, st they're sitting there. They're probably just just talk. They probably hate us. Oh, so they much. were probably talking so much smack about Joe. It's not even funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to it, guys. <laughs> thick skin, thick skin over here. Yeah. Wow. Man. Well, <laughs> I had another. I had another thing on eBay that made me mad. Oh, really? Uh, keep them coming, Jeff. Keep them coming. What do you? I so I, I listed a model kit, and it was a. Uh, it was already started to be built, and all the pieces weren't there. So, I Sounds guess like I made the mistake. What kind of model is this? It was mostly. It, so it's a. It's a modern Bandai. Like Gundam, you know the, the show Gundam. No, I like, never heard. It's I like an anime that. anime no. model kit for like a robot, and they're worth money, incomplete or not. So, my listing showed the model standing up, mostly built, and it had all the pieces laid out, and it had the instruction booklet with it. And my listing said in the description, in one line, it said the model has been started. And I guess this is my mistake. If I'm going to admit to a mistake, as I said, the model kit is incomplete, was my next line. And I said, please, then the next line says, please see pictures for pieces that are included. Is how my listing said. I get a I get a message. Hey, this is missing this piece right here. It, it wasn't, it, it wasn't with it. And I said, so I replied to them, yeah, the listing was listed. Model kit is incomplete. Please see pictures for pieces that are included. He said, well, don't you think that incomplete could mean that you started building it and then you didn't complete building it? And I said, I said, I guess I could see that if I was being like, what's the word, like redundant, if I was, because I had already stated that it had been started being built. And then my next line was the model kit is incomplete, meaning it wasn't all there. So he argued that I was being misleading. He accused I, me of being misleading. I just think list. the way the way you read that, if you're just reading it, it's like, oh, I started this, but it's incomplete. Right. I, I I'll admit that. So like if it, uh, if you, I don't if even you know if it was it. my mistake, I just didn't think it that far enough. Like I would, I definitely wasn't intended to be misleading. But no, I see yeah, it. I just think it's uh, it's just a. Uh, I don't think so you're... we kind of we kind of went back forth mainly because he was accusing me of like purposely being misleading to sell this item, and I was like that wasn't the intention. If you re if you read it, like it says it was started, then the next, and it also says please see the picture for pieces that are included. Right. So I what I don't feel like I was being. I definitely wasn't trying to be misleading, and I didn't feel. So it kind of went back and forth for a while with this guy, and he was like, "Well, I'm going to start a return and." You know, you're you need to fix your listing and this and that. Like, okay, whatever. And, and so, like, he started the return, and I was, you know, was gonna come back. And then, what are the chances? If I'm the going piece. through my death pile, oh. and there's the piece that he's missing sitting on my table. Like this. So was that? So the, the that that piece definitely wasn't in the picture. It was. It was not. No, it was not. So how did you find the piece? So here, this is what's crazy. It doesn't even make sense. I bought a huge collection of these, probably 25 model kits. And in that collection was a pile of just random mixed lot of extra parts, right? And I'm not me, taking the time to find like out what goes to what, right? Huh? Uh, it sounds like a headache dealing with that. Well, but the thing is, I sold that mixed lot for over $100. Okay, that's not a headache. So I, I think I got $125 for the mixed lot of pieces. Like, I just put it up there, mixed lot of anime model kit pieces from bandai and someone bought that right that piece must have been in that this is this can i can't even make this up or i could but that piece must have been in that lot and fell out of the when i when i moved it it fell out of the box how did that one piece is the one that fell out onto my onto my table and so then you, i found it did you message the guy back i messaged the guy back i was like hey is this the piece you're looking for and he's like, "Yep, that's it." And I was like, th "Like, I there's no way that just happened, right?" So did, I, you, is it, he still doing the return? So then you can sell it for more. No, he, he says, "If you send it to me when I get it, I'll I'll stop the return." So I sent it to him. 
if I was listening to this right now, I wouldn't believe my story. It sounds so ridiculous. Hmm. But I, Sonya can Sonya saw it too. Like I was like, what? How? How did that piece? Is the one piece that fell out of that pile, is the one that I need to make this guy's set complete. So, but did you did you clear it with the guy that you, that there might be other pieces missing? Is that the only piece that's he, actually? He missing? said there's. He said, "Let me go home and see, make sure I'm not missing any more." He uh, was missing two other really, really small pieces. But he's already told you that he's going to cancel it, so he's fine. You're, you're safe. Yeah, he said, no, he said, before you mail it, let me make sure. He oh. messaged me. So I checked. I'm missing two other small pieces, but this was a big rocket launcher that sat on his shoulder. Mm. So he's like, that piece was way more important to me than the two little pieces that are missing. So if you send me the rocket launcher, we'll be good. So I sent him the rocket launcher. He said he won't cancel till he gets it, so he hasn't gotten it yet. Yeah, man, me hearing myself tell the story, it sounds impossible. But sounds like literally, it. it sounds like you made up a podcast story. I, I did. I just made up the, we're going to be called the Bandai Incomplete Model Kit Podcast. How do you, it, well, so, it sounds like you had a reasonable uh, customer to work with. Yeah, he I ended mean, up being, he ended up saying yeah. I wasn't trying to be misleading, but he wanted me to understand why he thought that way. And I, you I know, ultimately, I, both sides of it. ultimately, I had to be like, you know, I get it. And uh, I learned my lesson. Now I will say it is missing pieces. Nice. Not, I will not use incomplete. I, I, I see that you're working on your customer service skills, Jimmy. It's good. I'm, I have great customer service skills. Right. I, I don't. I don't. So does Dan. So no, does I, Dan. I feel bad. Last week, I had the big old rant about that lady who was, <laughs> it was like wanted me to know when she's going to sip stuff. And I was just dead set that she was gonna give me a bad rating. She got it. She got it. This she got the sweatshirt, and she gave me five star rating. Like the same. Like the next morning, like she came, yeah. it came in on Monday, Tuesday. She gave me a rating. Yeah, see, I bet stars. you Kathleen I, I gave was, us a thumbs up on our video too. Yeah, I doubt that. I still stand behind those words. <laughs> I don't think I said anything bad. I'm, saying, I'm not gonna say. No, I'm sure. I appreciate I'm anyone not. listening. I did get a follow up if. I remember, you guys remember when I sold a pair of cleats to a lady who was gonna? Yeah, she did she make the team? The, she made the team. She messaged me yesterday. What? Oh my god! <laughs> and I didn't care enough to tell you say anything back yet. I don't know if I should. It you should like, congratulate. You. Say congratulations. I should do that. Yeah, and then and then <laughs> I should do it. I just I felt like I didn't want to go against eBay's. I should services. say hello. Like, like talking about anything other than uh, you know products and stuff. Let me, yes, think, I think the best way to, to to talk, to tell Dan is like, Dan, would you, especially Dan, I don't want to, I hate to single you out, Dan, but especially Dan, you would like to get that message. I know you would, and that would make you feel what that if, if you, someone, like if you, you message that, Hey, I made the team and then they congratulate you. You would enjoy that message. I know you would, but I wouldn't message someone to tell them that. That's true. That's true. So yeah. Like most of the right. time, I, I I don't I don't know, I wouldn't I would never message anyone that. Like I feel stupid. I try to so I'll share like a sale on it's like sparingly I'll share I share I share a sale on Instagram my stories and stuff, and I do it to just like you know maybe someone will see this and maybe it's up it'll it'll be something they they didn't see before. But I don't I don't really think of that either. And then I feel like I'm not trying to brag. I'm not like I don't know. And I feel stupid doing it. So then I don't do it. And then I'm like, oh, I should share this too. Same thing. Like, I, I, I don't. Know. I'll tell you, my on YouTube, my I've been making a lot of short videos, and they've been getting a lot of views. That's my brag for the day. But like, <laughs> I said, oh, great, congratulations. Is that good enough? Yes, yeah, so, no, yes, that's great. What's the name of her team? Let's. We should follow her, and we can give we can give updates. Ooh, yeah, we we could be her like unofficial sponsor because we're not going to give her any money. But we we provided the cleats she's wearing, so she's got to put our logo. No, not on the we. Side of it. Me, Dan. We'll put Me. Dan's face on the side of it. Uh, I took credit. The Music <laughs> City Misfits in the WFA. It's a pro uh, women's football alliance. What is it? The what? Miss the the Mis Music City Mis Misfits. I'm writing that down. Everybody, go give them a shout out. Go give them a no, positive. Like, why are we sending people to go podcast? listen? This should be. We should be sending people to subscribe to our channel. Maybe yeah. she'll subscribe. If you're listening, hit that subscribe. We don't get many subscribers, or we get a ton of views. I think they all. Hate I us. don't. Don't say it. No, you make it. Sense. We need more views. 
We barely been getting views over here, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, no views. We're not. No. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of views over here at so, all. So, Dan, you don't like sharing on Instagram? Is that what we got it? Because I, I just always, I, I feel like I always forget. I was gonna see I mean, if they're gonna be like, who cares, man? I sh- like, I don't care what Dan's doing. That's I don't. How care. You learn though. That's how when you see that something sold for a good amount of money, then you know to look for. That's how I learned. Yeah, I, I I'm gonna. So you uh, say I should up. share my what? Yeah. I, I should share my sales every day. Frame it as educational. Frame it as you're teaching people. Hey, keep it. You could just. Teach, I don't teach anyone you, anything. Yeah, but you're you're. You're you're teaching them without having to be like giving them a lecture like I like to do. Yeah, I'm you like a lecture people. people? Not at all. I hate I hate but what? you're like just you could literally just say, Hey, I sold this this is something you should keep an eye out for, and then share it, and that's it. And you're I'll teaching. Share, like, okay, okay, I'll share something you, else. Sold. Well, I'll share I, something I was else. I was searching oh. Instagram, I came across uh you know Dan Big Thrift Philly. You yeah. Know, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. There was always that uh the uh the hallmark ornaments you know the christmas ones i knew yeah. it was a christmas vacation one that was uh you know oh, worth yeah. worth money well he found RV. that yeah he found that cousin eddie's rv he sold yeah. it for 364 dollars <laughs> like I, last week so after christmas and all that and he, he posted it on there I, was, I sold an ugly christmas sweater last week yeah i sold i sold another yeah. ornament too right after i texted him not not too long after i texted yeah, don't listen to jimmy don't i the, saw don't... i learned i learned about those christmas vacations from uh, the reseller uh, locker room, uh, Rocky yeah. Top. I knew th- I knew there was one or a couple. He, of them yeah, or whatever, he was talking but... about them, and I, I was like, "Oh wow, those are cool." I should. My mom's a huge Christmas vacation fan. I was like, "I'm gonna buy her one for Christmas," and I looked, wow. and they're expensive. I'm like, "Yeah, mom's not getting one of those." <laughs> I can't yeah, go, that. Go, go go check it out. It's Big Thrift I'll Philly. Teach about, um, I'll teach you guys about another on Christmas one that's really good. No, and while you're looking for uh, Dan over there, come come back over to Pocket Change Podcast and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe over there. But also while you're over at Big Thrift Philly, Dan, he's also uh, – you can vote for his dog to be the uh, – um, What about my dog? Because you, you're not vote. You, you, you didn't put him in the contest. How do you what know? contest? It's like no, America's okay. – uh, it's actually like your dog too, Jimmy. He's got a French bulldog. His, his name is Big Tasty, I think. That's Big what Tasty? Big what? Yeah. <laughs> That's the name of his dog. There it is, right here. You, you can vote. Oh, where are you at? Oh, for those of you listening, we're going to see a picture oh, yeah, of a French a, bulldog oh, that you can vote for. Maybe. It, it, I call remember, my. What French, is it? McDonald's used to have big tasties, right? You remember the big tasties? <laughs> big tasties. <gasps> big, big news. Tea. Big big news too. Oh, big see? news. McDonald's has a double Big Mac. Double Big Mac. Yep. I, I can't wait that. to get one. I'm, I I'm, saw on I'm, TikTok how to make it. There's people that are working there that are showing videos on how to make how they make it. What you take two patties and well, like they're work. They actually are working there, and they're like, "This is how you make it." And they show them. I love watching. Order. I like watching two, those guys. Two of everything, make. basically. Yeah, I like watching. Not maybe not. I'll have to look that up specifically. But I I'm gonna scrounge up some money so I can get me one of those. I'm the, gonna try. One. I'm not gonna lie. The last time I had a Big Mac, I got food poisoning. Why? And so I'm. Why are you ruining I'm, it? Why are you ruining I'm sorry. Well, you, it's just like so. I don't. I haven't had one in a long time. Because when was that? How long ago? Was it's that? been over. It's been over a year ago. Because I, the thought of one still kind of turns my stomach. It sucks. I love a Big Mac, but hmm. I got so sick off of that one. Anyway, were you in yeah. Ohio or is this back in Colorado? No, this was in Colorado. Yep. Oh, so you haven't tried it in Ohio? Yeah, I'm in another Big state Mac. now. So yeah, yeah. So I had a Whopper the other day instead of a Big Mac because I didn't. I wanted. I was craving a burger and I don't want to eat a Big Mac, so I had a Whopper. Was that good? Yeah, I like a Whopper. They're good. Yeah. Did you go on? Oh, maybe you don't have the same thing on Wednesdays. You get a three dollar Whopper here. What? Yeah. Because it's like ten dollars for a Whopper. It's crazy. Yeah, dude. expensive. And they, then you got to get onion rings with ranch. And then, <laughs> how much is that? Like, I don't. Oh yeah. I'm, a fortune, yeah. It's like you might as well I, go eat a steak at that point. I haven't had a Big Mac in a while, but they uh, probably November, December. They for a while, if you order on the app, they have um, you, you got a Big Mac or a quarter pounder or like a 10 piece, and then you get one for like 29 cents. See, but does the app work good for you? Like every time oh, yeah. we go to McDonald's, Sonia, we're sitting, Sonia's like, Can you pull over so I can use the app? And then we sit there for like 15 minutes while she's That's trying not to figure out the app. app. It's, it's the service in your, in your area, I think. No, before we even order, though. 
Oh, the like the network, like where you're at, like the where you're at. The signal, yeah. She'll yeah, be like, oh, oh, it's not. Yeah. It's, I'm, I think that I think I'm gonna go conspiracy theory, which I never do. I'm I'm <laughs> not a conspiracy theorist, but I think McDonald's scrambles your oh. app while you're there, so they you can't use it, but you still want to eat McDonald's. Well, then order before you leave. Yeah, there you go. I have it. Oh, I, yeah, I never no, use it. That would be the smart thing to do. You're right. Oh, you have to use apps when you're a struggling reseller, Joe. Uh, <laughs> it's the only way I can get, like, enjoy, like, a nice, you know, meal. Not, I mean, not nice. But... <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's the only way you can re- enjoy a double Big Mac. Right. No, they don't have that on there. I mean, I think it's, like, full price, like, seven bucks or something. So you it's, have, uh, are you going to have one? Are you going to have one, Dan? I'll probably have one eventually. I don't know what day, like, I don't know what day I'm going to end up. I, I try. I, I don't I don't go out to eat like I, I used to. I did go to McDonald's yesterday, but I got a free frappe. frappe. I used my points. I used my points to get a frappe. Is that a frozen coffee drink? Yeah, something like that. Oh. Was that any good? Oh yeah, caramel, caramel frappe. Uh, it was good. Uh, it, was, it was good because it was free too. Because of the app that was being scrambled. Yeah, I don't, I don't... that app. We talked about that though. Like when we leave the house and, it, and we start driving down the road, they just knows we're gonna go by McDonald's. Son, you'll start getting McDonald's messages. Yeah. <laughs> like we know you're about hey, to uh, drive past it, so we're gonna start sending you offers. Yeah, right. my uh, daughter Riley's into uh, the Burger King chicken fries. Oh, so gross! That's what that's we gross. have to. You should just buy the. You should buy. Sorry, the I'm sorry, Riley. Buy the chicken fries at Aldi. Aldi, uh, Aldi. Have still you been to Aldi been yet? There. Still haven't been there. Oh my god! I got a lot going on. You guys know I've got a lot going on. Like. I haven't had a chance to do a lot of things I was gonna say that I was gonna do, but I need to go in there. We just drove by it last night when we went to Tractor Supply to get dog food. I don't know why we didn't go in there. Are you have you did you have you, oh, I mean what was I gonna say? Have you did you list today already? Yeah, I listed eleven things today already. Really? Eleven? 11? Uh, yeah. Dang. I think I listed three. I, I told you I list in the morning, guys. I list in the morning and I hacked two wooders. You list in the morning and then what? That's it. I sold, my new routine is I wake up and I pack orders and make labels. So I made I packed and labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did ten. one day handling? I don't remember if we've ever asked. Yeah, one day handling. Yep. Oh, okay. One day. Eleven yeah. items I packed and labeled this morning. You then sold I eleven over. yesterday. You sold eleven items yeah. yesterday. Nice. I had a pretty decent day too. With, uh, for for me, I mean, I think six. Like six. I just try to get as much as I can done in the morning, so that way I don't have to worry about the rest of the day. I, I was doing that a lot last week. It was it was great. So good, right? I, I sat because I get up super early. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep good. I didn't. I, mean, I barely slept for like three days in a row. I was up yeah. two, three o'clock in the morning, so I, I had pictures and I was just listening in the morning, and then I would take pictures and then I would be done with like. Are you most a of my morning work. person, Dan? Like, oh, yeah. do you get up because you want to, and like you. Yeah, I feel like I get more done. Yeah, same. What, t- what time do you go to bed? Um, sometimes depends on my mood, but usually I'm. So, like one day last week, I know I tried to go to bed at like seven o'clock at night, but then seven, seven. Like, <laughs> I was like, I just gave up on the day. Oh, you gave <laughs> up on the day. Okay. It was, I just gave up. I'm like, I'm, I'm over today. And so like I went to bed. Like I go in my I go in my bed. Now is that I, is that the day you got up at like three a.m.? I mean, because that's maybe that's a good I, I just, it was like a couple days. I so different. Sleep, man. I couldn't sleep for a few days. I can't go to bed that early because all like I watch wrestling and stuff, and like that comes on at eight p.m. Like I'm like last <laughs> night I was up till eleven p.m. watching wrestling. I got a, oh I was watching the uh, I stayed so I, most of the time I you know, nine ten o'clock I'll go lay down in my bed and then I'll fall asleep and then I'll be up up and down all night. Last night oh I stayed God. up. I watched uh, the reseller draft was back yesterday. Yeah, I think you guys are both there, right? Oh, yeah, I, I watched watched it, it, for yeah. a second. Yeah, I, I watch. I watch that. I always like. I always like watching that on Monday nights. Uh, I'm gonna be on it next Monday. Be on it next Monday. What, what are you doing again? I think it's best sports teams. If you yeah. if if you if it's mm-hmm. it's if you're listening and you want to, it's the reseller draft. It's on the Nashville Flippers next week. Any sports playing? team. Yeah, the best jerseys of all time, I think. Oh, jerseys. Oh, jerseys. Uniforms. Oh, okay. What did I say? Uniform. You said you best, sports, best team. sports team. I didn't know how you were going to. Oh, pick that. yeah. No, best, best uniforms. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, I think so. Don't don't give it don't don't say anything because I don't want. But yeah, don't don't help don't spoil the draft. Well, no, because then when I dominate it, then they're <laughs> gonna give you guys credit for it. I never get the credit I deserve over there. <laughs> but I think Tim Tim over the years give me on there. But it's oh, always cool. fun if if you guys are if, guy, if anyone's so. ever bored on Monday night. It's it's they do random categories of stuff and you, people just rank stuff. It's fun. It's always a good time. <laughs> I have fun watching yeah. it. They do the same thing on Wednesday on uh vintage sports flips keith's channel yeah yeah they do but they'll do some like really in-depth topics like they well they do uh it's it's called pastime podcast it's pretty fun to listen to they do kind of some same similar con they do a it's andy and and keith they do a topic they do wonder if they stole that name i wonder if they stole pastime podcast i was thinking we could steal (laughs) (laughs) but we don't do anything sports it's all sports (laughs) keith has like they well, they they fight about who's the king of pennants. Uh, uh, he he has some good stuff. I actually got to reach out to him. I was at a estate sale uh, a couple weeks ago, and it was a mayor from a small town in Jersey, and it was an estate sale. And I don't know if he passed away or if he went into it like a, a you know an old folks home or something. But assisted he uh, living, Joe. assisted living. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus, jeez. <laughs> Apologize for my friend Joe over here. Assistant living liberal. Uh, He's a facility. liberal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know what that up. means, so don't be mad that I said that. I have no idea what that means. Um, Can we cl- let's cut that out. <laughs> no, leave it in because it's um it's so anyway, joke. so sorry. So he ended up, but he was a season a Philly season ticket holder since like the seventies or something like that. So he had all this Philly stuff and all this. And I have two batting helmets that I bought. They, Mike they might be like, they Mike Schmitz? Mike Schmitz? Was, Are they Mike no, Schmitz? but they might be like original, like, like batting helmets from, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, the seventies. Yeah. He had all kinds of memorabilia. Now, a lot of it was priced outrageous. A lot of it was overpriced. A lot of it was, but it was like cool thing. I mean, he had, he had, uh, you know, like a first, uh, you know, uh, First, second, or third base, like from different games, and they were like had oh, stickers oh, wow. on them. They were labeled and all That's this. Cool. But he had two batting helmets, and I think they just lumped them in with the, like the hats, and the hats were like four bucks. So I ended up buying these two full, but these two batting helmets that are they're pretty good. I think they're pretty good. So, so I got to reach out to him to see if I can date them. I need to ask. Well, it's too late now because I that kind of that's that's crazy. You're talking about that because I just sold a vintage Cincinnati Reds jacket last night and it's got joe morgan's number like on the sleeve right and it's from that era and the guy who bought it from me was asking me like is this real was this the one that he wore and stuff like i have no idea like i don't know but the guy who bought it from me he's gonna try to like find out if it's all an authentic because like it's from the late 70s or whatever it's not a modern jacket and he's like it's not something that like was a lot of these were sold in retail stores this way. Like it looks like. Right. How did you sell it for? I got forty dollars for it because I don't have any way to know what it is. What? I was just curious. He's I asking just, all these questions and he's spending forty dollars. Like, yeah, you, I, I would block. I, I had it listed them. for fifty-five, and I took an offer at forty. Is where he offered me twenty-five. And I was like, no, I ain't doing this. And then, the he, thing then is, he has like, the nerve to ask you a question. Yeah, he said because he was like because it, you know it doesn't have the any kind of authenticity. You know, I'm offering you 25. I was like, well, no, it's still a, it's still an old jacket. The market on old jackets is higher than 25. Like even if it isn't a, a game, it's still from the late 70s. It's still a nice old jacket. It's a vintage jacket. There's a market for this stuff that's higher than 25. Bucks. Right, did you get where'd you get it from? A barn. I think I got it from an estate sale in Cincinnati. Oh. I think when I was down there, I'm, I don't remember though, or a yard sale down there. I can't remember for sure. I got but it's I, a cool I, jacket. I got a return coming my way. Uh oh, man! Guy, guy, borrowed a Nintendo DS for three weeks. That's always fun. It uh, beats Zelda. It you, beats Zelda. Got, and it worked. And you got to make sure it works when you get it back. And you got to check the serial number, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do all that. He said that there's yellowing on the screen. Three weeks after, oh, I think he got it on the fourth. That's just of, enough time to swap out a screen of, of January, and then he returned it on the twenty. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he opened the return on the 29th of January, so I guess he was tired of it. 
I'd be tired that's... of it too. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> he's I'll just relist you don't it. sound like you're okay with it, Joe. No, I'll just relist it. He bought a game from somebody else and he's returning that game to them. So you were yeah. between the two of you. You guys have you guys have like bad news everywhere. I got some good news. Oh, let's hear it. Let's hear it. That's not really good news. So, like last week before, um, I was I was listening. I was listening to uh, I was listening to a couple other podcasts. When I was looking for not having much to list, I decided I was like going to do end and sell similar. I I, I've heard people, yeah, people always ask me if I do it, and I usually don't. I don't mess with it. And I was listening to uh, when I was listening to pure hustle podcast i listened to them like finally i was here while well, you're, well, you're still their name dan no i was well I, i'm not pure hustle over here okay. i just was i always hear that if you want good information you gotta listen to them and they i was like yeah. right getting ready to like oh yeah i want to do i'm gonna do self similar they randomly started talking about it and they said that it's not the same as it used to be i'm like oh well i don't want to do that if it's not going to work for me if i'm not going to work and then uh Anyway, you, I mean, you would love that podcast, Joe. They dig into the politics of reselling a lot. <laughs> they do. Do they really? <laughs> oh, yeah. They'll break. Yeah. I mean, not the like, they'll break down like how the economy is affecting sales and stuff. They'll go into that stuff. So. I forget what the other one they, they mentioned something. I can't remember the other one I was listening to. Anyway, uh, so I randomly was like looking at stuff that was ending one day last week. And I was like, why isn't I was looking for stuff that. Why isn't this sold? Like, wh- why is it not selling? A couple of brand new pairs of Carhartt jeans and stuff. So I'm like, uh-huh. I'm gonna end these and I'm gonna sell similar because I've had a, literally it was a, they were listed a year ago. It was it was January 20, 25th or twenty sixth, and then I was it was a year on on the nose. Ended up and sold sim- sold similar sold them both the same day. Yep. Yeah. Like, you have to do that. Like if it's that old, you have to. If it's a, I like, think how, part of it is. I know you reset your you reset your promotions, but yeah. part of it is just resetting that listing with the with a new promotion. One of them oh, I switched yeah. the price because so, so I tried to change. One of them I know a few weeks ago we talked about it. You you mentioned size, like you said you asked yeah, if I put, put size, size in, in there. The title, yep. I did. It looks like at some point I both of those I I had to write in size. Looks like mm-hmm. last year I didn't. I, I was. I, yeah. I know I do it now. I don't know if I didn't do it that time. Or if it was something with, I don't know why I didn't put size in there. Uh, so yeah, I added that, and then I, 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 I comp them again, and uh, I think that's what I, I wish I would knew. I would like to give them credit. Man, I wish I could remember who did that test, but yeah, if you list, like type, if you have room, type in the the word size, like before large, put size large. Uh, size. Um, what about someone S- did a, S- again uh, to reiterate? They did the test where they like. They didn't have the word size in there, and and in an incognito tab, their listing didn't come up. We then they talk added... about this. Here. Sorry, I mean, hold that. Th- Let's talk yeah. about this for like 15 20 minutes, and then the the topic yeah. could be the size matter. The topic can be the, the politics. Si- oh, of the the yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know. I thought maybe yeah. when you when you brought up January, Dan, that you sold them. I thought you were going to bring up January 6th or something, whatever that date was, but you know, <laughs> what happened then, Joe? I'm not really. Know. I'm not really, I'm not really up to speed on the, what's going on. I don't know. You no. want to push the envelope all the time with these. <laughs> and by envelope, he means the one on. So- <laughs> but sorry, so, Joe. We we were talking good reselling topics, and then you come bringing in your platform. This is not a platform for you to push your agendas on us. Speaking of platforms, have you seen a sorry. reseller agenda podcast? Oh, reseller agenda podcast that's a great name dude that lock that in cut that part out so nobody steals it no um uh, yeah so we, we let's Joe, talk Joe's... about this because I, I should test it i don't know why i haven't tested it what'd you say i missed it i no. just joe joe looked like he was mad Joe's no upset. no i'm not mad joe not why are you mad yeah joe no, you i'm not mad you seem a little do you not have little... size in your titles is that why you're mad no, no, I don't. I mean, <laughs> oh, so I dropped the price on. I I comped them again. You pro- so when you relisted, did you promote them? Uh, yeah, it and like because you- it was already running, and then I I I don't. I was too lazy to turn it turn it off because I had already they already I already had a promotion going, and then uh, there's so like a part where you have it. to the way on you- there you have to hit the pencil and you have to. Ugh. 
I so, and I didn't click on buyer has to pay immediately either. Give uh, the proof is in the analytics, footage. though. So, like, I, proof I bet is in you, the pudding. If Podcast. you go look at your, I bet you if you go look to your promotion dashboard and you look at your, just your graph, the graph, I bet you your impressions are up from selling similar on those items because they have a new promotion to them. Your impressions go up because those those refresh promotions are, are getting a lot of impressions. Does that you make mean, sense? Because not because I sold similar, because I changed my campaign. I switched my campaign every two days. I, I two think days, two days, three days. Similar. My, I don't I don't ever change my campaign. I just do the sell similar. Oh. And every time I do a big batch of sold similars, I see my promotion impressions go up because I've those items are being refreshed. Now I don't know about refreshing the promotion, like you said. I don't oh. know. There's yeah. something I just heard. I I I I just start so when um they said that they that's how they do it, so I tried it and yeah, I, I was I've, so, okay. It's, I've, like, I've I didn't be convinced I had to be I don't want to keep talk like I don't want to run down promotions again, but I had to be convinced that I need that I want to use promotions. So then I was like, I that's just something I have never changed because I know when I I can tell when I don't have them on if I haven't like made us I mean there's very rarely like, yeah. that haven't made us sell like like very rarely right. if I've been working if I've been listening I'll make a sale but then I'm like oh I haven't made a sale I've been listening oh I forgot it my promotions undid yep yeah I mean I noticed the same thing 100 percent you don't see that little uh you know tab on the on the screen that says you know you have 596 items to promote well, Joe, I have over twelve hundred items. No, did you see they switch? Did they switch in your app too, where it doesn't tell me exactly how many items I have listed? Like now it says I have twelve hundred plus. I don't see that. No, I didn't see it. You guys are I, don't, I don't have twelve hundred. On, so. on the app, <laughs> stop you flexing. You? Uh, no, it's not. Many? It's not a flex. That's not it a flex. Seems at like all. a flex. I mean, you're putting me down for not having that many. Hmm. I don't. No. I don't see where it says that. Mine's mine has my exact number fourteen fifteen. Really? Oh, well, here we go. We're flexing even more. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Mine mine says I hate here, it. I hate it. Mine says five twenty eight. Like exactly. It looks like the old way. Yeah. No, did I'm I not, not do the, Did I not do the update? Is there an update or something? Mine has my ninety day total on it too. I'm not sure. You, you scroll up a little bit, so you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to brag on that. <laughs> I yeah, see that's what I want. I like it like that, because so so just in my head, is uh, if I'm listing, I don't know, because I don't want to have, I just want to have enough that I'm selling a, uh, enough too, I guess. But all right, I been I I, I I was at like twelve twenty, and then I was like, sold a bunch. I was selling a bunch of stuff, not a brag either. Then I got down to like twelve oh three, and I'm like, oh crap! I was at twelve twenty. Now I'm at twelve oh three. I need to, I need to be listening. I, I need to find stuff. I need to go to the, you know, like I need to get stuff. And then uh, I got back up to, and now I, I'm just at twelve plus. Like it's annoying. Oh, I don't like it. I don't. Well, ha have have Jimmy talk to the concierge. Yeah, we we talk to the concierge. Ask him. Ask I, him gotta make, I gotta make him a name for my concierge. Uh, Speaking yeah, of brag, I got a brag to tell you guys about some at the bins, but it's not my brag. It's not my what, brag. What did, what did Sonia find? Yeah, we'd love to hear. You no, know, this a, a lady that I, a friend of mine down there. Well, uh, actually, she's not my friend. We, she makes sure to tell me every time I say this is my friend. She's like, no, we're not friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the lady, the same me. lady. The lady yeah, that tried to get you arrested. Tammy, she, I, I run into her all the time. We j like jokes around, but I like all. Say, oh, this, this is my friend Tammy. She said, uh, we're not friends. Just a reminder, we're not friends. We just, we run into, I think, I, I think she's joking. But anyway, she found a pair of gold. If I know Tammy, and I think I do, she does not like you. Yeah, she does not <laughs> like me. She found a pair of, in the bins, gold. How do you say this? How do you say Cartier? You ever heard of that? Cartier. 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 Cartier, Cartier. sunglasses Cartier. from 1988, and they're legit. And let me guess, you grabbed him and th broke I him and threw him back. Punched her in the shin, <laughs> and I took him out of her hand. Yeah. Do you ever get? Do you ever get upset when someone finds something like? Did you, were you? Yeah, I was like, pissed. Upset? I was like, how? The, like we're standing. I was just the right bin. there, and I couldn't I was, find yeah, it. We were both looking through the same area, you know, in the same the new rotation. Uh, she found him in the new rotation. 
I wasn't anywhere near her, but it was in the we were working the same rotation. You had to, you had to be at least six feet. And away. she's like, "Look what I found! Do you think these are real?" And I was looking, I'm like, "Nope." Oh, <laughs> you nope. throw them. You throw she's them already right got. Your basket. She's got them on eBay. She's already got two bids. They're up over two hundred dollars already, but they should go close to four hundred dollars for these glasses what, in the bin. Oh, she's auctioning them too. Yeah, she's running them on an auction. Yeah, nice. Pretty crazy from nineteen eighty eight, I think, and like. Congratulations! Tim. They have like rubies on the side and stuff. Like they're, it's crazy. And she has the thing is she's she's really good at what she, she has like all the stuff at home to make sure the gold is real and the rubies are real and stuff. So she uh, she messaged me that she verified they're real and she got them listed. And I was like, that's insane. Well, how did she get them verified? Check check. No, she just she's good at she check, check. got her <laughs> loop and stuff. And yes, yeah, unlike me, huh? Have you ever used that check check? No, but well, uh, uh, what's his name? Adam Baldy Pal just shared on Instagram. He was using it. Did uh, they just do oh, shoes? I, I've used it. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Joe shoes? has to use it because he's selling on what's the StockX. Oh yeah, have you sold anything else on StockX? Yeah, I sold two pairs this week. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it must Joe's, be nice, huh? Joe's rolling in the dough. No, you just have to wait it out, you know, because all the all the sneakers below you that are priced cheaper will sell first, and then. When there's none left and somebody wants that pair, they'll buy yours. Like, but it is frustrating sometimes when you see, like, you'll so, you'll see somebody come in and list a pair of sneakers a hundred dollars under yours, and you know they sell right away. But you just got to be willing to. I used to, to the like almost be in tears what? because I would list stuff and I wouldn't. It wouldn't sell like instantly. I'd be like, oh my god, I, I can't sell anything ever. I still what feel like you? that a lot of days, but. Or you want to like, like, like on stock. On StockX, like I said before, there's no way to set your item apart from anybody else's. You know what I mean? Because you're also you can only sell them brand new, so condition's not a, a factor. You know what I mean? And it's just price. You know, the cheaper the cheapest price sells first. You yeah, know, yeah. So you race just got to wait till it sells sells out. There's no you know, in that sales, size. there's no promoting. It's just a race to the bottom. Can they look at your profile? Um, I they think see that you're top rated international or anything. No, they do it by tier. Okay. I'm tier one, so I mean, and that's bottom of the barrel. So that's no. bottom. Tier one yeah, is the tier bottom. One's bottom, yeah. What's the uh, top tier? Well, I don't know. That's what I would be. That's He's, what Dan would be for sure. I would He's come a, in at top tier. Bananas top tier balls. podcast. Top, top tier, tier podcast. <laughs> we would not. That's not an appropriate name. <laughs> not in any way. Bottom of the barrel, dude. We should. Oh, that's even it. better. I like that better. I like that. Yeah. Ooh. That's a bonanza tier, though. That's a so I was trying to think of what's a bonanza tier barrel the, the bottom barrel, the middle barrel, the, bonanza, that, that, the bottom barrel, bonanza. bottom of the barrel. <laughs> I kind of like that bottom barrel, bottom like of the barrel. Our, but to tell, our, tell everybody not to forget, you can put some suggestions down in the comments, right? Dan won't, Dan won't delete them this time. Dan won't delete them, he won't research if they're taken. And Joe will I pick did. three or four that I he likes. Besides, it was taken. And you guys <laughs> did not care. <laughs> that's not how it happened. I don't think. I don't remember, but I don't think that's how it happened. You don't remember? Well, <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna lie. If I'd, I, I wouldn't care except for that they were at the meetup and I feel horrible. horrible. If it was just everybody like, was talking trash other about people, like I told meetup. you, I said I looked it up. I go, there's tons of pocket change podcasts on here, but like, okay. Like on the uh, on the pocket on the reselling ones, like it's just gonna be written out pocket change reselling podcast, and the other ones, a lot of them are in. It's I think it's impossible. How do you come up with a new na- like? How do you come up with a name? Every name is taken. Like anything, and there's a thousand of them, and a lot of people they haven't been active in six, seven, five years, seven months. Yeah. Like it's like what it's are you really similar. To it's really similar to like Joe and Paul stealing each other's names and people getting them confused all the time. It's very yeah. similar to that. And then I, you know, Chris old school picker stole my name, old school flips. Wait, who is, who was there first? I used to get you guys confused all the time. <laughs> I was so confused. We, Chris and I have confirmed that my, my account was there first, but, but it's, it's it doesn't different. really matter, but it's different. It's, di- it is different, it's different but, but- but it's the same. But it's different. It's still no different than people call me Chris. But you Austin. change your name. Then you have you change your name to like O O S F O S F Picker, like old school flipper picker. 
it was just yeah, old school flipper picker. And then you it was back. just an attempt to try to grow my channel and to see if I would. Uh, and how did it work? I, I, I think it helped, but I decided to go back. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to grow my channel. People are mean. <laughs> Man, I get, that's what I started saying that earlier. I get a lot of views on my shorts, and people are starting to get some nasty comments in there on the how, shorts. How, how how bad of a person I am? Uh, yeah, you did the one you. short for us, and I, I I hated every second of it. After thought it was a good <laughs> idea. I tried to find, I, I, I tried some shorts on my channel, and got a lot of hate. And I was like, I can't. I don't want to listen to this. Yeah, they do for sure. I like um, I like watching Carrie's uh, American arbitrage his, his shorts. He gets he gets killed in some of his comments, man. Yeah. There's man that one that he some... just did where he that deal that went went I, ro- went sideways. I saw Dave's coins. reaction. I saw a short of Dave reacting to that. I was like, uh, uh, ADH Dave was reacting to Carrie's deal at, at with some coins. That was entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that he's got like he's gotten some slag. Like, yeah, because think, it got uh, so many views, like he, like there was one where there was like, oh, this is that guy, like, like he's known as that guy that backed out of the deal. <laughs> oh, really? Already? What did yeah, it happen? Well, it just happened, right? Yeah, but it got a ton of views. Really? I have to go watch his original one because they're. I think I'm at that part. I think they're just it's talking the about short that. videos that he's getting the hate on. Like, yeah, it, I, I, the, I don't think I don't think I can do sh- like shorts. Like, ah. Uh, and you, you you put that one. I thought it would be a good idea so we could get subscribers on our channel. Yeah. And then I don't like, think it translated well. No, no. I think we can we take can we take it down now? You think we can take it yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, we can take it down. Yep. I just oh, it sounded like such a good idea because I always hear people they do shorts and they get some subscribers and you know no. I thought maybe that would work and then I I mean it was we had like one comment and the guy was just so mean. I've been getting a lot of subs from my short videos. I've been getting. But is it so worth? Much. Is the subs worth it? I think so, yeah. You think so? My my views are up in general, and I mean, but I have to like this video got eight thousand views. We're losing, 8, losing views. We're losing Jimmy. Uh oh. No, you because I went on my phone. Because I went on my phone. I'm not doing it. Oh, you're, you're. Oh, you're on. It's your fault this week. I can yeah. barely see you. No, my son well, actually. Try connecting. Hook up. Hook up here. He's on now because I have him. He's on my Discord, and I saw that he logged in. So he's you have up a Discord. There playing on. Yeah. Oh, it's too late in this episode. No, no, like just Discord chat. Whoa, there's some on my head. It's too late Discord in this episode to, to find out. I, I don't totally know how to do it. Am totally gone or what? Huh? Am I totally frozen right now? No, no, no you're there. You know. You're there. You know. Yeah. No, Discord before it was for like, before people used it for like social, it was a big time way to communicate in the gaming, like PC gamers, they use it to talk to each other. Oh, all right. Like, you PC game? game? You game? You're a gamer? My boys are. I used to be. Oh, really? I, but I didn't play like shoot 'em up. I played like World of Warcraft type games. And so when you're playing that game, back then you couldn't talk to each other within the game. So you had to use Discord to talk to each other while you're playing the game. I still sense. don't understand Discord at all. Yeah, Discord now is used for a lot of different things, but back then it was literally just to put your headphones on and talk to each other. Uh-huh. Now, now there's chats and plat. Yeah, it's almost like a so it's like a a way for friends to talk to each other through chat. Uh-huh. And stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a very user friendly platform. And Dan doesn't. Dan, he doesn't want us to have Discord. He said we're not having one. I don't know how to work Discord. I'm in. A I'm, just, I'm just trying to pass. I, no, it. I just don't have anything. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. It's <laughs> tough. I, I feel bad for people trying to keep up with all that stuff too. You have to. Oh, you can't get your. You, you get you. Your. I, I don't even know. I don't know how to work Discord at all. Every time mm-hmm. I go on there, I hear him talk about it because I'm in the trash to cash on Patreon and I'm in their Discord. I have no idea what's going on. And then I get invited when I talked about that before. In like one of my lives, I got invited into this other Discord, and I have no idea what's going on ever. Like, no clue what's going on. <laughs> like early on, I would get notifications. Hey, here's a new message, and then it, they just stop. So, like, I gotta. Oh, they probably they probably blocked you. They probably blocked me. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, they're like this guy. Joe, how many? Own. How many? What? What? How many Discords you in? 
I don't know. They're like yeah, you're in election 2016, elections 2020. Still, those still happen. Yeah, all all, all the political uh, ones, um, a, a few card, a few card ones. Um, you know, it consumes me. The political ones consume me. All right, let's next week on the Pocket Change Podcast. Well, Joe. TBD to, to, to be determined. No. The names to be TBD. TBD podcast. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys next week on the TBD podcast.